Namaste. Well, we were just sitting in my place and discussing this and that and everything. <laughs> and the subject of ontology came up. Now, ontology is my secret weapon. <laughs> you know, often people will ask me, wow, your lectures and, and talks are so clear and everything is so well organized. How do you do it? And I tell them, ontology. And their eyes glaze over and they look away and then they change the subject. <laughs> because ontology is a great secret. It has to be a secret because it's the most powerful science. See, what is the science of making sciences? Ontology. What is the knowledge that creates knowledge? Ontology. What is the meaning of meaning, ontology. And so ontology is ultimately the consciousness of consciousness, which means it's Turiya, which means it's Brahman. In other words, it's pure intelligence, okay? And what is this pure intelligence? Well, I'm going to give you two references. One is to this video, which is specifically about ontology, ontological analysis, to be precise. And then another link to the whole series that contains it. And that's the last video in the series. So to really understand it, you're going to have to watch the whole series from the beginning, Becoming Genius. If you want to become a genius at anything, really, and that means someone who can apply the knowledge on an expert level, like not just a professional, but a main mover, somebody who moves the needle, who, who pushes knowledge forward, who discovers new knowledge and codifies it, and integrates it with the sum total of already existing knowledge. That is what ontology can do and has done for us in our research on the Vedas and the other sources of authentic spiritual knowledge. So the reason that we're able to understand everything, apply it, get the benefits, get the results, and explain it to others clearly is that we use ontology. Ontology. <laughs> Ontos is a Greek word that means being. It means the same thing as bhava in Sanskrit. Being, becoming. And ontos also means meaning because nothing comes into being without some meaning. In other words, it has a relationship with a context. That's why it exists. And without that relationship, it can't exist. So ontology is a means of analyzing the relationships between things and their contexts. And the ultimate context is consciousness. So if one creates an ontological system beginning from the root of consciousness, specifically Turiya consciousness, and then the conditioned states of consciousness, Sushupti, deep sleep, dreaming, and waking consciousness, Svapna and Jagrat, huh? external consciousness, jagra meaning internal consciousness, sushupti meaning consciousness of nothing, no objects, but still consciousness. And finally, turiya, consciousness of consciousness or consciousness 
of awareness. If you can master the practices based on these analyses, you are fully enlightened. To have mastered consciousness of consciousness means Brahman is available to you at all times, unconditionally, because it's your real nature. So, of course, we've been over this all a million times before. So this is just a short video to remind you guys, uh, Sri Ram and Satish especially, that ontology is the key to everything. It's the only Western science that even has a prayer of contributing anything to the Eastern sciences. And so it's a very powerful means of analyzing everything. And actually the ontology for the Vedic sciences is given in the Rig Veda. Shankaracharya reveals this in one of his purports, uh, Brahma Sutra, that this is the root set of categories that defines everything. Another look at that is the matrika, as it's described in Lakshmi Tantra and other Sri Vidya scriptures. That series is here. The mysteries of the matrika is how words get their meaning. The meaning of meaning. It's an ontology. So in this way, this science can be applied to anything, absolutely anything, to make you completely able to apply it in any circumstance or any situation. This is the power. This is the secret key of ontology. Aum Tat Sat. Aum Shakti Aum. Om Namah Shivaya.